What we're working on here today is a project for the Rockford Schools. Today we're constructing a 25 by 40 by 9 foot 6 tall storage building. This is a code building. This building has an engineered stamped set of prints from our engineer in-house and we're all squared away as far as permit issues. We went for our project, we start out, we start by reviewing the prints. A few days ahead of time we call the customer, make sure that they know we're coming. Utilities are located so we don't have to worry about that first day on the job. Try to hash out any any problems that can be foreseen out here in the field when we're building. We're trying to have them taken care of well in advance so that when everything comes out to the site that all problems are pretty much taken care of. All we got to do is focus on building a good building for the, for the customer. When we get out on the job site we square up the site, make sure that the customer and the salesman have had their building staked out properly and grade line set. So when the crew shows up, there's no question where the building's supposed to go. Floor height's been established on one of the corner stakes. Mark out the holes and then start augering holes. We get the holes drilled, tamped. The inspector will come out and check the holes. And from there, shortly after that, we'll have the concrete truck come in. It'll take a few hours for the concrete to set up. We'll be staging material around the job site. We'll be laying out poles, stakes for anchoring our poles, boards to measure from pole to pole and then we'll be um, setting poles, backfilling the holes in eight inch lifts and tamping the ground as we put it back in in eight inch lifts um, to really pack in the ground to keep the poles nice and solid. And from there, that'll probably bring us to the end of the first day. Start installing our safety equipment, our safety cable, our plank brackets will go on and we'll start laying out plank down the sides of the building and from there they'll be um, basically erecting the building off the scaffold. Cut our poles at an angle at the top and it matches the roof pitch. We put an insert block in that goes right to the required height to where that truss location needs to be. We install them. You put your first rafter up, there'll be some straightening to do, some bracing that we'll need to do, get everything straight level. After the second rafter, everything's straightened, braced, and kind of solid. We'll put the truss lock screws in, get that so it's all secure, and then after that we'll get our eave nailers and bird netting and reeve trim on so that we can get ready for rough. The next process is start putting roof steel on. Once we get the roof steel on, we finish that off by putting the rake trims on and the ridge cap on. Once the ridge cap and Brake trims are on, we can go ahead and start putting our soffit trims on and, and get that all down. Uh, we basically work from the top, work our way down. Once the wall steel's on, we basically have trims around walk doors and overhead doors to install. And then finish up with corner trim and some of the other little fine details. Day four would be finishing miscellaneous trims, getting ready on the ends putting blocks on where the overhead doors are so that the overhead door installer knows where our floor heights are. And we usually have the walk door installed too so we can cut around that without having to install that later. Day five would uh, wrap up with cleaning up the job site. I usually go around the building and take a look at all the workmanship, make sure everything's done correctly. And after that we do a final check with the customer to make sure that it meets with their approval and, and get that signed off and we're done and we get to go to the next one. Well, it's always nice to see when you're done what, it, what it's like and then it's always nice to see a happy customer with what he's got now and, he, and you know he's going to be enjoying it for a long time because it's quality built and it's got to look straight and good because I know customers are going to be looking at that for a long time after it's done. We only have to look at it until we're done with it, and then after that, but they have to look at it for a long time. <laughs>